All right, we are back to using the kinetic shield exchanger. Weird. I say we're back to it. I think that was actually the last remnant video I posted, so I'm back at it, right? I've been trying a bunch of different ideas with, like, other things, and it all circled back to it. And I'm enjoying it more now, and I don't know if that was, like, some kind of weird mindset. Maybe I'm just in a better mood today, like, having, like, recuperated over the weekend or something, but I'm liking it more. And I think part of it is... I gotta catch my breath. I decided I wanted to do some, like, a little bit of exercises before starting this. But now I can't breathe. No, but I got a couple, like, sort of synergizing ideas going on here between my weapons and, like, the overall idea of it, right? That's, uh, it's making it pretty satisfying, right? You can kind of see what it is right now. We've got ourselves a Twisted Arbalest. What does a Twisted Arbalest do? Single shot weapon, ricochets, hits multiple guys, and then uh, it explodes when you use a mod. Now, why is that important? Is you have the tightly wound coil, which will give you a shield every time you shoot a single shot weapon, right? It's a 75% magazine thing. So with this, every time we launch the Twisted Arbalest, it's going to immediately generate a shield for us, which means we're doing more mod damage, generating more mod power thanks to the kinetic shield exchanger. So immediately it's gonna ricochet around, generate a lot of mod power, like 30% more thanks to that thing, plus whatever else we got going on. And then when we use the actual, like, you know, mod ability, is doing another 25% more, 25% more, which is the same as the detonation trigger. You lose out on the burning amount, but you're exchanging that for the mod power generation. The other good thing is, you know, we've got shields because it requires us to have shields. We've got the shields to keep us safe. And then for my secondary weapon, because I'm not actually using, uh, you know, explosive only like unique things, I can put whatever I want as my handgun's uh, mod ability. And so m very different from the last setup using the stupid amulet uh, where I'm not just super passive and stuff. We're very active on this one. So I've got the sure shot. It's also a single shot weapon, but I went ahead and put in the uh, astral burst, which isn't one I use very much. However, I have pressure points as my mutator in there. And what does that do? It increases the damage the mod's going to do when it's close range and releases an explosion right around us. Now it is another explosion, right? So I think that could probably trigger detonation trigger. But, um, you know, I'm not too worried about it right now. And plus to kind of help out with some mod thing. And I knew this was a good one. It's always a good pick. And just like one of the comments said on it, which it's a rerouting cable. It, and I messed with it earlier because it's just a natural pick. You're going to use stamina. But I just wasn't feeling it. I just wasn't feeling a lot of things on the last one. But it's great, right? Because we get the consistent spike of 15% shield every time we're shooting a weapon to then activate mods. And then as we just run around and do things, just having the rerouting cable do stuff for us is great. Giving us just general shields and covering us is solid. Plus generating band for healing. And then I just boosted our mod damage with by the shard banded ring so i could try and get like the uh could put on something else burden of the destroyer you know always something some other kind of damagey thing but like you know honestly wasn't too worried about it now as far as the mutator in the twisted arbalist goes i've been messing with a couple different ideas there is actually the uh, spirit feeder which was one that I had done a video about before how I really like it but it's kind of like frustrating and like disappointing and how it like compares to like some other ones actually works pretty well in this setup because we are using the twisted arbalist which works really nicely with it and so because we're reloading every time we're going to be getting uh, that shield power or getting that extra mod power for reloading which then you know whatever you get the idea I'm not using it though, because like, it's it's having to like rely on making sure I reload every time I use the mod. Sometimes I mess it up, and when I mess up the reload, then that means I'm not getting the extra 25% mod damage. So I'm going with like a safe pick right now. I'm doing feedback because that's gonna give us mod power back every time we like use our mod and do damage with it. And because we're getting that even more back thanks to our amulet or is increasing how much we get it ends up like making it really easy to constantly use this thing's mod back to back it's i've been really enjoying the setup i have not used it on a boss at all uh no no i have not i imagine it'll do fine 
you know, depending on like who you fight or not, it m may vary, I guess, your mileage or something. But uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to run up here and uh, try and get to one somewhat quick and try it out on there. But I'll give you the actual specifics of the loadout here. Once we deal with this horde, maybe we'll fight an elite or something. Oh, there they go. Look how quickly it's just ready to go. Like, every single shot we do is great. Because we've got that shield up. All that regeneration we're getting thanks to Arcana and whatnot it really allows this thing to come back after every use if we really want it to. Or we just switch to our other weapon and then use that mod. Ooh, an Aberrant guy. Okay. Let's hit him with one of these. Trapper, too. Okay. Let's just use... Okay. Wait for him to do his first hit. Whoop. All right, now we'll use our relic. We're just going to do a nice cover to make sure we don't accidentally get messed up. Here's one of these, and then we can go pow, pow. The, I tell you, man, the pressure points thing does a pretty solid amount of burst. Whoop. We hit this, and the cool thing, too, with the uh, Twisted Arbalist mod is you can actually catch the crystal thing pretty easily. So I've definitely seen that get messed up fairly easily now being caught in there see how it's nice to just be able to like sprint out of a spot and roll to get shields and not have to shoot your weapon it's basically like a passive way of getting your shield back and that's really nice i do way prefer that i do not know why i just was so against it the last time i was messing with it i guess i just wasn't in the mood i don't know uh very similar to last time archon primary more mod power stuff defense was reality rune we've got summoner does mod damage does explosive damage skill stuff right and having the adds uh, summons are pretty nice too many in the flyers just really great kinetic shield exchanger does mod damage does mod power rerouting cable for that general shield generation as we dodge and sprint and whatnot and then we've got the shard banded ring to increase how much our mods are doing tightly wound coil because every shot we do is going to trigger it for a nice good shield so we can then pop off with the guardian's call and of course the generating band for that regeneration health per second this is a shielded heart just gives us a nice solid shield amount if we want to uh, you know just kind of cover ourselves or like we need our minions to start healing up we can just do that and it's just 20 seconds of solid amount of shields it's got extra health in there extra mod damage extra shield amount very defensive in it i could have maybe gone reduction on like mod costs or something along those lines depending on what i'm really trying to do uh this is what i felt like doing right now like i mentioned twisted arbalest has got guardian's call feedback the sure shot it's got Astro Burst, Pressure Points in there, which does a ranged and mod damage by 15% when they're within 7 meters. And then activating the mod does that blo that blast per 100 mod power spent. So it does that times 4, like 800 damage times whatever numbers we're adding in something. I do have on the Atom Splitter with Shielded Strike. Uh, I, I think this works better with not the Atom Splitter. Use like the, uh, uh, just a, like a thrown melee weapon because... For the Atom Splitter to do its range attack, it requires a neutral dodge and the slice, which does cost a lot of stamina. If you notice, we have a huge amount of shields. So you can get a lot of shields by doing that combo where we neutral dodge back, slice, a lot of shields. But it takes a lot of stamina is the cost. If you're worried about that stamina cost, run the Hunter Spear or the Krell Axe, that's just, and just throw it. And that is going to give you... Uh, just a little bit of shield that you need just by throwing the weapon without having to do a neutral dodge or anything like that, right? And then pow, there he goes. Now, because I totally remember to talk about my traits and this isn't later, uh, the only main trait I would like kind of recommend, I guess, for this setup is amplitude, just to make these explosions bigger because that's kind of what I'm using. And because these aren't actually like affecting us or like going to do friendly fire damage, you don't really need kinship. Now, I did put on kinship because sometimes I shoot my minions and that feels pretty bad and I was switching around a bit. So I did do that. I mean, other than that, you know, you're going to want spirit. You're going to want spirit to get as much mod power back as possible. Uh, since we are an apocalypse, we want to have as much defensive stuff, right? Like uh, fortify, triage, things like that, right? Uh, and again, because we do have the minions, 
I put on Blood Bond, so they take some of the damage, and we got Rugged just to make them a little bit more durable. But the key takeaway here, if you're comfortable with whatever your mod is, if it's explosives, like we're doing here with the Twisted Arbalist, and then the pressure points exploding, which I'm... Oh no, it does say fixed 7 meter blast, so that one isn't affected. Uh, amplitude. Take Amplitude. Uh, now, depending on how you're feeling, honestly, you can maybe swap the Archon for the Summoner Primary, and then actively shoot your minions to empower them. Could be a fun thing to do, but you're going to lose out on some mod power generation. Alright, so we are fighting the Bloat King. And because the Bloat King floats around as far away, the uh, crystal shot with the pressure points and stuff, uh, not a great pick. So we've switched it to the Meridian, and because we switched to the Meridian, which is in fact explosive damage, uh, we have on the Blasting Cap instead of the Shard Banded Ring, because it's going to do the same thing for us, right? Uh, except more. Because it's it's explosive damage, it's doing damage. Whatever you get, what I'm trying to say here. I promise I have not been drinking. Uh, maybe the Meridian was not a great shot because that thing is straight juking me. This is awful. I don't particularly enjoy this fight with certain builds. I was kind of hoping this one would feel okay. Uh, maybe this is this point where we do. Yeah, that's fine. And then we switch to it. Uh oh oh no except i have a huge shield what am i gonna do if i can get it to, that's not what i wanted to hit if i can get it to kind of like ricochet multiple times on the boss that was a lot of numbers uh then it'd probably be pretty okay we're gonna use this because we can it also generates more mod generates mod power now which is not something it did before so sometimes i forget it does that i wonder if this would be one where detonation trigger would actually be better just because we would start getting that burning damage so it's just a little bit of extra damage over time you know that's a little bit better with the doubles right there you can kind of double stack on the explosion huh yeah it works this fight's pretty annoying though so it's not this is not fast i'm not winning any records by doing this Job's done. We did that. Uh, maybe I'll run it back to uh, Fei Lin and see how that goes. Okay. Fei Ren time. Uh, I actually need to switch the Blasting Cap back to the Shard Banded Ring. So, I mean, really, there's not any range stuff here. You know, we'll put on Burden of the Destroyer. Why not, right? Uh, but we did go back to Sure Shot. It's got Astral Burst with the pressure points. And, um, yeah, other than that, Everything is pretty well the same. Uh, let's go. Been a while since I fought him. Let's see how much I remember. Cool thing with some of the walls being close like this. We are able to get the uh, ricochets with our ranged attack on the Twisted Arbalist. We should be able to get uh, pretty quick mod power. And with all these neutral dodges for his like sword attacks or just dodges in general uh you know we're getting a good amount of shields right plus with all his like freaking things that he summons we can blow them up fairly well just looked at what he has going on hardy and thick skin which is pretty annoying all right doing okay not sure what happened to my uh thing right there though uh oh tried i thought i could just do a little dodge attack but no of course Hey, that blew them up, and that got us a ton of mod power back. Alright, uh, so far, pretty good. We'll probably use a Relic here in a second, just to make sure our minions are continuously, like, regenerating. Getting some extra bonus damage and stuff, too, right? Overall, it's kind of safe. Boom. Thank you. Alright, let's do this thing. Oh no. It's calm, cool, collected, making sure we're watching what we need to uh, dodge. See, that's what's nice with this thing. If you can get multiple ricochets and it recharges the mod during those ricochets, then you're like ready to go with the, uh, you know, the next mod cast, which is pretty solid. Wonder if when he uh, teleports, if that somehow messes up the dodge, the uh, 
mark for the Arbalist. Because it seems like when that happens, it shanks it up. Oh, that still hurt him. That's good. All right. This part will be interesting. The good thing is we can use the shield to make sure, like, if I get hit by one of those swords or the shockwaves, it's not going to really mess me up, you know? Let's do this. Okay, and then pow. Oh. Okay, that was some decent damage. The Astral Burst is really what I wanted to use there because he's close to us. We get the the actual mod doing damage. We get the explosion doing damage. Let's use our uh, Relic here. There we go. One, two. And what's this? All right, working out nice. We're just going to use our Relic again. Just playing it safe with our health, right? In case something like that happens. Oh, I missed that one. Oh no, it's gonna take another one. That's really annoying. Alright, I wanna use my relic now though. Did it work? Nope. I can't see him. There it goes. Uh yeah, overall pretty clean fight. This that fight in general to me is very satisfying. Just getting the rhythm, kinda like a dance kind of thing, right? Uh God freaking whatever um it's grown a lot of me the kinetic shield exchanger i i way like it a lot now i i don't know i'm not sure what changed my mindset i guess i just tried the right combination of things to make me feel like i dig it more i i this setup solid i enjoy it shielded heart kinetic shield exchanger tightly wound coil single shot weapon specifically twisted arbalist is pretty solid but you know in theory, it takes 675. You could run something like, you know, any of your single shot weapons, right? Crossbow, throw on, the old uh, rotted arrow. This one, 850. Like, these are a little more expensive, but it does have two charges. So it is something to keep in mind, you know, but use something like that. Or the Helix Rockets, the rotted arrow is much cheaper, but it runs into the issue where it's just not quite as much damage at all. It has a weak spot thing. But I just don't really feel like it does that much more. I don't know. I do like the Rotted Arrow. Don't get me wrong. I do like it. But sometimes I'm kind of iffy on it, right? Uh, yeah. Much better setup this time. Much more engaging rather than just summoning things and letting them run around and do stuff. Which is also fun to do in the right circumstances. Uh, but yeah. Thanks for checking it out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a go. Actually worth a little... I don't... Th this one is okay. I think it is a fine... I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with it. You just got to get the right shield set up for it. But until the next one, take care.